What's good YouTube? Welcome back to Grim. Guys, make sure you keep watching this video because we are about to expose the world's biggest fake flexor that I have ever seen. This man goes above and beyond when it comes to faking your life and it's actually hilarious what he claims because there would be such an easy way to prove it, but he doesn't. Without further ado, let's meet this legendary flexor known as Hard Rock Nick. On an absolutely perfect summer day, Nick is taking the 126 West to Calabasas do some shopping, go check up on my construction, on my new house. First things first, Hard Rock Nick only refers to himself in the third person for some reason. I mean, any millionaire should do that, so he's fitting right in with the rest of them here. But you know, you're messing with a legend when you see that he has named himself after a hotel chain, like only real ballers do that, all right? So besides the insanely dumb name aside and the self third person action going on here, what is up with my man's facial hair? He's rocking an advanced beard to say the least. Like, how do you even come up with that idea and tell your barber what to do? Side note, a couple other really big YouTubers have covered this guy in a video a few months ago, but I saw something on Reddit that reminded me that he existed and thought, you know what, this is the perfect level of stupidity for my channel. I should make a video on him too. So I'm gonna do my best to dig deep and find some rare videos of this guy that have not been made fun of yet. Anyways, let's keep going with this madness. Sick. Nike Air Max's true religion cutoffs called the Ricky, the hard rock cutoff sleeveless, the Dodger hat in gold and blue, all custom. All custom, guys. You know he had to pay big money at Lids for them to sew on this ridiculously ugly golden brim onto his already very basic hat, but only the best work for Hard Rock Nick. You will see shortly that he is a man of exquisite taste, to say the least. But when it comes to the kicks, he explains them as being awesome, but I really don't think I've ever seen that colorway of shoes not on sale at my local outlet mall. Usually obnoxious out there colors like this on those basic shoes aren't very hard to get because no one really wants them, but hey, that's sick, man. Keep rocking them, whatever. As for the custom True Religion cutoff shorts, I can pretty easily see that this man has just cut them with scissors, but you know what? That might just be the style that they shipped them with, so I'll give the man the benefit of the doubt here because there are a lot bigger lies out there that I'll expose later. We don't have to sweat it if this man calls his obnoxious and ugly outfit all custom. He can say that all he wants, but we know it's not though. Speaking of flexing, let's cut over to one of his vlogs where he is in his $100,000 custom truck. Yes, you heard that correctly. Apparently, there's been over $100,000 of modifications on this trashy, terrible looking truck. We'll look at it a bit more in depth later. What's up? A lot to update everybody on. But seriously, almost every one of his YouTube videos, he's vlogging like this. Not only is this incredibly dangerous and stupid, guys, don't be filming while you drive, but also he just looks like a total moron bouncing on his probably terribly cheap suspension system that he has on this truck and vlogging with the most ridiculous outfits ever. Let's see what kind of heat he has on in this one. The custom Armani T sleeveless that you can have, double XL of course. That's right, you morons, you plebeians. He's got some custom Armani tees on deck that you can't have. Well, you could have it. Just go to your nearest Goodwill, look for a really large Armani t-shirt. There should be one in the double XL area, and then just cut the sleeves off, and there you go, you're matching him. But he won't tell you that, of course, because you're supposed to think that it's custom. The hat is basically more than your car. Rubies, yellow diamonds, and black diamonds abound. And don't even get this man started with his hat. It costs more than your car. You can see clearly this real leopard printed hat with giant diamonds, rubies, and black diamonds all over it is just 100% legit. You know, a real diamond of that size would probably cost over a quarter million dollars at least. But nah, he just doesn't have one. He has like 20 of them on here and they're all sewn onto this trucker hat. You're just a jealous hater if you think this is fake. I mean, this is hard rock Nick we're talking about. Didn't hear in that last video, he was on his way to make sure construction was going well for his new house in the hills. One of the many houses that he owns. But let's just see what's going on in terms of kicks for this fit. I bet he's coming with some more heat. There's no way they can be sicker than those shoes before though. You guys uh, gotta check out these brand new Adidas spring blades uh, in my own custom color. So they're... All right, <laughs> this dude has to be a troll, right? 
He's legit wearing the most butt ugly Adidas shoes that I have ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen someone wear these spring blades in real life, but they're always like on 90% off sale at my nearest Adidas. That's how boof these are. They discount them heavily and then people still don't want to buy them. But you guys can hate all you want. He doesn't care. He's got the hookup over at Adidas. Did you hear? He got these in his own custom color. So even if you did want them, you can't have them. Like I said, only the best for Hard Rock Nick's feet. He can't have shoes that everyone else has. Uh, I got my teeth cleaned over the weekend. A Manny Petty that you can't really see. Well, maybe you can. Yeah, I really can't see this Manny Petty that you got because your truck is wobbling so badly that your crappy camera can't focus on anything. Also, that little smile he did when he was showing off those weirdly nice pearly whites of his. Yeah, he does that a lot over on his Instagram. Not shouting that out by any means. Go there on your own accord. I'm not going to show any posts here because they get weird. But if you just search his name, it's pretty easy to find. He's got like 50k followers on Insta, which is impressive. And because of this, he actually thinks he's a famous person all of a sudden, even though there's probably hundreds of thousands of people with 50k on Insta at this point. His captions are quite interesting to say the least though. Not gonna feature one because they always get really weird and creepy halfway through and I would probably get demonetized while reading them, but they're gold nonetheless. Seriously, this man is just a modern marvel to me. Like, how do you even get this delusional to where people behave like this and then you go and post it on the internet? That just makes it even worse. And there's a lot of guys that look like this. They limp, they wear shirts that say just lift, they drive cars that are probably their girlfriends, and they're sort of unemployed and just get by with gigs. So here I just cut to a vlog where this idiot is just sitting outside of a Gold's gym, like, I don't know, reflecting on his life and how swole he got that day, and thankfully he's not driving. So the footage here actually doesn't look like it's straight out of a Transformers fight scene with how much camera shake this man usually has. And we can see further evidence of him just being an all around terrible person. He does this thing where he kind of just projects his insecurities onto other people, and it's so clear to see in this video. He's making himself feel better, I guess, but I mean, he really can't be hating on people for doing these simple gigs for money to get by while he's out here doing cameos for $75 a pop. Not sure why you do that if you had 75 million or whatever he claims to have in the bank, but that's probably one of his only sources of income at this point. So you can't be hating on that dude when you're doing the same exact thing. Well, it's too bright to see, but that's a movie theater ambient lighting that matches my blue fogs. Oh my God, he's got movie theater ambient lighting to match his fogs. Whatever that means. I love when he goes and pronounces these words like he's trying to sound all fancy, but he just makes himself sound more stupid. Hey, you guys have suffered pretty far throughout this cringe fest. So real quick, I'm going to give you a break and have you like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell in the next five seconds. And if you're fast enough, I will have Hard Rock Nick personally give you a wardrobe makeover. You'll be rocking nothing but a cut off true religion shorts and the coolest custom Nikes ever. Trust me, he's a fashion icon and many people would pay millions for his fashion taste. Anyways, on with the rest of the video. Guys, wait until you get a load of his truck here he claims this to be his daily driver you know implying that he has more than this car which i highly doubt he probably just has this truck and that's it i mean if you go to his insta he might flex with a bentley or ferrari every once in a while but it's pretty clear to see that he just rented that car i mean it's la it'd probably be like 100 bucks for the day and he just went from there and posted the pictures of it but the best part of this ugly horrendous truck is that like i said he claims it's a show truck and that he spent over a hundred thousand dollars in upgrades on it let me just show a piece of this montage or or highlight reel that he made of this thing. Of course, it had the most terrible basic rock music in the background that I'm muting for copyright reasons and just because I'm talking over it. But it might be one of the most atrocious looking vehicles I have ever seen. And guys, I'm out here living in the sticks. I got ugly lifted trucks pretty much within a half mile radius of me at any given time. And this one is worse than any that I have ever seen. But I really can't say that I'm surprised to see that he's driving this. I mean, it actually really fits him as a person very well. Only a man with this style of facial hair could ever create such a monstrosity. As for another really weird flex I'm going to get into real quick, he often brings up that he actually counts his packages that he gets from Amazon each week and uses that as a flex. He used to say he averaged like four a month, but now it's gone to only two. If anything, my grandma is probably going harder than him with her Amazon Prime orders, and you don't see her blasting the internet with videos opening up what she gets and flexing it. But of course this weirdo did, so let's watch this man open up his dope packages from Amazon. Alexa, play notifications. Uh huh. Shopping. Go ahead. Marvel Avengers Endgame Red Iron Man Portrait Graphic T has arrived. Okay. What else? Okay, anyway. 
So guys, turns out I didn't even have to do the exposing on this. Alexa just did it for me. This man just asks it to read off his recent notifications and it only shows his stupid Iron Man shirt arriving. Nice one package you got from Amazon containing your $20 t-shirt, bro. That's a big flex. I love that he just brushes it off and keeps going with the unboxing too. That's about as much as I can handle from this guy right now. The problem with him is there are so many things I want to cover about him but just don't have enough time. I could make more episodes of this in the future because his fake flexing goes way deeper than this. Trust me, this is just the very surface level. Let me know what you thought of this weirdo down in the comments. Just remember if you dislike anything about him, you're a massive hater in his eyes. So be careful he might make a mean Instagram video about you. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one and until then, peace out.